Who should be afraid of me? I think the traditional leaders are afraid of me because they don't even call me by my name. They call me the, the, the woman who hates traditional leaders, which is not the truth. I don't hate them. I hate what they do to the women. They are forcibly evicting people from their land without any constitutional basis. And in our culture, no traditional leader, including the king, could own land. He holds it in custody of the people. It's the people who own the land. And now it's the other way around. The traditional leaders collaborated with the apartheid regime and waged a lot of violence. The government is sensitive about challenging these traditional leaders in case they start another violence in the province. It's not that I'm not scared of them, because I know that they are dangerous, but to stand up on behalf of other women uh, I'm not scared of doing it if I know that I'm doing it on behalf of other people. Such as Sebenzi Mabibi. Tina Jenjenge RWM as Sebenzi Mabibi in Lakngole Konela Unizibi. When a woman has been forcibly evicted from her marital or natal home, they give her a ring and then I join her struggle. You saw no Samin Gutangum Zalangum fan. Oxon Sono Sam, Ingan we pion Kulunkul. Sakfan and Gubu Tingi Lake Gubana Gang Salilang. Amanda Mazanako Zuins in Zuashun Salab. When I was five years old, at the back of our home, there was an auntie there when her spouse was home, she was beaten up. And it was usually in the evening. I knew that she was beaten up because I could hear the noise. Boom, boom, boom. And then I would hear the screams. I remember I look at my hands and they looked very small. And my wish was that when I grow up, I could assist her. Because I'm the eldest, I had to drop out of school and try to find a job. I didn't study law at all. I didn't study anything. I didn't get formal education. I made primary school graduate. <laughs> Not too many people like the work I'm doing. I am scared of the night because a group of 10 young men came and attacked me at night and they nearly killed me. They left me thinking I was dead. I'm pale parts. My I keep it one thousand. Oh, 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 o
when we convene workshops, we focusing mainly on knowledge and on publicity without people knowing their rights and their position, it's not easy for them to win these battles. I love my job. I love this fight. I like this struggle, especially when I win the fight. We were very happy to be able to eradicate Ugutwana, which is an adoption of young women and girls who are forced into marriages. I didn't want to say to them what you are doing is not right, but I thought by providing training, intensive trainings on women's human rights, they themselves would say, aha, it means Ugutwala is a human rights violation. Men should learn how to deal with their egos and not take their frustration and make it a problem for women. Yeah.